All right, guys, we're back for another piece of this video. Uh, we've got a little bit done without running the camera. We got a caps. Got the clean out caps here. Yep. Three of them. Fit right on. Fit around here, different spots. Yeah. Let's see if you can get access to clean the soot and stuff out of your uh, your tubes. out caps the way I made them was basically cutting a piece of this tube that we have left over just that thick and then fitting it in the inside the tube there yeah. we cut a notch and it was more like a trial and error kind of process because you don't know how much you're supposed to cut out mm -hmm. so you cut a notch and you try and fit it in you take it back out, make the notch a little bit wider. Use a hose clamp to kind of clamp it down, make it a circle. Yeah. Fit it in. Once it fits in there nice and snug, you can use a hose clamp to keep it a circle and tack weld it up. And then for the caps, what we did for the caps is we found some flat sheet metal like this right here. And we use a hole saw that was slightly bigger than this tube. Yeah. So Cut a hole saw out. And we're going to use the hole in the middle. Have a little bolt or a little yeah. handle. A little, little bolt or screw or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. We'll weld that in there so that it plugs the hole and it acts like a handle so you can actually pull the clean out yeah. off of there do your cleaning and then put it back. So we have to weld these, these pieces together so they fit and have a little overlap there so it seals up pretty good. Yeah, weld them all together and they'll stay on. They'll stay on there. They're a nice snug fit. Yeah. It'll be all right. What we have to do now is take this piece of sheet metal and make our belt that fits around here. Yeah. It's part of the main burn part. So when the heat comes up through here, it goes down through the bell and out this hole through this and out the chimney. So let's get the camera set up over by the anvil. We're going to try and bend this around into a nice circle, like nice cylinder. Yeah. I don't know how well that's going to turn out, but uh, we're going to give it a go. Hang on just a second. We'll get all set up. All right. So we've got our piece of sheet metal. It's the size we need to make the right diameter circle or cylinder. We have we had the, the, the mathematician inside figure that out. The mathematician inside the mathematician. that would be mom. Mom would be the mathematician. Mom. Yes. So we're gonna use the end of the anvil here to start making this bend. Because we don't have anything else to really bend it around. This is the this, this is our circle. <laughs> this is it. our circular thing to kind of bend it up here. It's got to be a, about a five inch diameter circle, I think. This is way is what we, than I thought. What's that? This is way quicker than I thought. It'll probably be like a really, really slow process. No, it'll go pretty quick. It's, it's thin sheet metal. It's thick enough so it won't burn through. Yeah. But when I'm trying not to kink it. Yeah, kink it. I'm going to start all over and yeah. beat it around the hand. It's no fun. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but I can't think of it right now, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. cylinder that we're the right size. Yeah. But then we just cut it and it be good to go. We were trying to find something but no. Yeah. Whenever you need something uh, it's, it's never there. This is true. Our resources were a little limited with this project so. Yeah. It'll work though. Yeah. A nice little workout then in this. And
if we can Too bad. Yeah, it's pretty sharp here. For a rookie blacksmith. still need to make a cap for this. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a couple hose clamps. We're going to wrap a couple hose clamps around it so that it holds it nice and even. And then we're going to weld it up. We'll be right back.
So we've got it welded up. Pretty decent weld. It's uh, not quite perfectly round though. It's got like a flat spot over here and a peak over here. I'm gonna try and get rid of those. Try and hammer mount the handle there, make this more of a round sphere uh, cylinder there. Looking more around, not too bad. I like it. So this piece is going to fit going to be, uh, what do they call that, the bell? No. The bell part of the rocket mass heater. So we've got to make a cap for this, preferably removable, kind of like our clean out caps, make a cap that's removable for this. So, we'll have to figure something out for that. Alright guys, so we've got a little bit more done. We've got caps. The clean outs, clean out caps done. Caps. This little cap this slides out. It's got a little handle. Yeah. Everything there. And then like since it falls out a little, you kind of have to turn it. And that yeah, turning yeah. it kinda of helps hold it in. It's not yeah. perfectly round. So that's why it uh, keeps it in a little bit better. We got our The bell. Bell. It's all welded up, it's pretty round. Yeah. Gonna fit right there. We've got our start of the cap. Yep. Kind of sounds like a bell too. Yep. And this cap we're gonna design kind of like these caps right here. Yeah. But we're gonna have two. We're gonna have one on the inside, a sleeve on the inside. Mm -hmm. And then instead of just having that, we're gonna have one around the outside also. Yep, that's gonna help seal that a little bit better. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll get this project in another video, going a little bit further. Hopefully have it done in the next, uh, what do you think, another five, seven days, have this project yeah. done? We have to, it's coming up due pretty soon here, so. Hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss the final product, and we'll catch you later.